All right, guys, so we just finished watching the trailer for Mortal Kombat 1 uh, Chaos Reigns. And uh, one of the big things that a lot of people are talking about is how they had replaced Sector and Cyrax with women. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that, you know, kind of really stuck out to me was that Cyrax was, not only was she a black woman, but they had made her African. Mm -hmm. And... I guess that's no different than the original person for Cyrex because he was an African man. Uh, I, I believe he was like from Botswana or something like that. And so they just kind of changed it around to make it a woman. Um, so I don't, I don't really have any issues with that. But when we did watch the trailer, something just kind of rubbed me the wrong way where it didn't, it didn't fit. Usually Netherrealm is pretty good at putting characters in scenarios and then no matter what the background is, just making it work. Uh, but for some reason, this just felt kind of odd to me. And I, I kind of wanted to get your thoughts on this uh, as a black woman and looking at this as far as um, representation, because that's what we see a lot in video games now. We're seeing a lot of gender and race swapping now because yeah. people have talked about representation within video games. And so as a woman, as a black woman gamer, how did you feel about watching? How did you how do you feel about that? And then how did you feel watching that? Um, like, did you feel represented or anything like that? Okay, so the thing about it is, I remember Tanya in Mortal Kombat 1. Okay. But while we were watching this, I didn't feel represented. I mean, maybe that's what they're trying to do. But I would have loved for them to introduce a, a new character. Right. Okay. You know, um... Now, one of the other characters that they had within the series was Jackie, Jack's, Jackie's Jack's daughter. daughter. Yeah, right. Yeah. And to me, I think that that kind of would have made more sense if they, because in the previous one, Jackie was already using tech. Yes. And so it would have kind of made yes, more sense that would to bring made, Jackie yes. on and have her have like this tech exoskeleton mm -hmm. or become Cyrax yeah. because she was already using tech. Um. You that, work to me, for that that Ram makes Studios. more sense <laughs> versus what they actually did, which was a a, a, a character swap or yeah. a gender swap. But maybe we'll just have to watch and see, and it'll make some sense. But it did feel like I felt confused. I was like, "What's going on?" Right. So um, I don't know if it's forced diversity or forced feminism, but we'll see. Okay. Right, now this is a narrative that we're seeing more and more in modern video games, uh, as far as like uh, getting more women involved, having them in lead roles and, and female representation, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's okay. Like, yeah, how do you feel about that? Like, Why does because, it mean? Because the other, the other half of it is that when they're creating these characters, they tr sometimes they're trying not to make them too sexy or too uh, revealing to have their boobs out and all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, but there is a fantasy aspect to it as well. Like, um, if I wanted to play an average person in a video game, I'll just, I don't know. What's the point? Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I think know? the whole idea of uh, playing the game is, you know, is being transported to a world that's not ours, mm -hmm. but also being able to play characters that aren't you or don't look yeah. like you, or even not relatable. I I, th I think on some level there there is a certain area of relatability, mm -hmm. but for the most part, when we play sorcerers or magicians yeah. or some big hulky guy with the giant sword, you know, you're not playing it because you relate to this person. Or because but, you look like that Right, person. or you look like that. <laughs> right, and so you don't really have an issue with the girls being voluptuous or um, looking a certain way. I mean, for me, I, I know some some of those games aren't for me, and mm -hmm. that's fine. Right. When they make video games for women, um, I think they're trying to gauge about what they want. Right. But, you know, as far as if they're dressed a certain way or voluptuous or whatever, I'm sure they're not you know coming for me with those things but then what's the difference with the big hooking guys and muscles and with right. their shirts off and right. you know things of that nature so so what do girl gamers want what do they want to see in video games for me i would like an immersive experience um i would like to have like 
maybe a beautiful character and cute clothes or something that's kicking everybody's ass. You know, I, I don't want, like, an average day person off the street so I can, like, oh, I can really relate. <laughs> you know what? Now, that's funny uh, because it's almost like with game developers, they don't consult women when they're making some of these characters. And maybe they if they did, they would know that women care about accessories. Yeah. And that the coolest thing- Make them you, cute. <laughs> yeah, the coolest thing you could have for uh, to get women into games would be to make them cute and then give, give them, them accessories. Nice or nice hair. Or nice, um, nice shoes. shoes. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah, you could accessorize their right. clothing. Yes. Okay. Right, yeah, but don't give me somebody off the street where I could be like, oh, she looks like me. I wanna play her. Right as playing myself like right. that's stupid right. but okay. maybe there's some insecure people out there who are looking to be represented within a video game right. like that's a whole nother issue now when it comes to movies and tv shows and things of that nature people want representation right. um when it comes to video games give me the fantasy okay yeah i i, I can see that Especially when it's a game that is existing within a fantasy world, yeah. so it's not based in a, like a real world or our world, where they have these certain levels of, of beauty standards and everything. So I, I think that if you're doing a, a medieval type game, yeah, people are playing it for the fantasy of it because right. they don't want to see the stuff that's going on in modern society. Right. So yeah, very interesting. Uh, guys, we'd love to hear your take on this topic. Uh, as well as your thoughts on the character in the the characters in the new Mortal Kombat game. So leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. As always, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Take I care. Know. Peace.